finesses the name of the game when it comes to drop shot fishing. So basically when you're drop shotting, what we're looking to do is basically mimic a dead or dying shad. A lot of folks these days know about the drop shot rig. One of the questions that we get asked about a lot is how do I drop shot? You see a lot of drop shot on TV, you hear about it, you read about it in magazine, but not a lot of people show you how to rig it. Real quick, I just want to show you how to drop shot rig. Um, I'm going to tie a drop shot here to give you an idea of how this rig is set up. Tying the uh, drop shot rig at the... I want to talk a little bit today about things that you can do with the drop shot. First fish of the day, drop shot, and I'm out here on Lake Erie, absolutely calm. Fishing a drop shot with a drop shot set up. Okay, I got my uh, I got my drop shot rig here. I see people all the time and they're out there drop shot and drop shot rig. Drop shot rig. Talking about the drop shot rig. Give me your drop shot. Drop shot rig. On a drop shot. Uh, a drop shot. Uh. Hey everybody, Jody White of JodyWhiteFishing.com here. I'm going to demonstrate the knot that I use, wh whose name I don't know to uh, tie most things with braid and all of my drop shots. Let's talk about how to tie the drop shot rig. The rig consists of a light wire hook tied with a Palomar knot above a drop shot sinker. Not that simple. All right, rigging a drop shot's very simple. Um, all we're doing is tying a Palomar knot to our hook all right, by now a lot of people know uh, that tying a Palomar knot with fluorocarbon most of the times is a big no-no. So you ask, how do you do it on a drop shot? Uh, and you're going to put it through the eyelet and just tie a good old-fashioned knot. You do a shoe knot, beginning of a shoe knot, which now has created your loop. Okay, okay. the best one and the easiest one to do is the cigar knot. The knot that I use whose name I don't know. So many pros have been heralding the San Diego Jam or the Uni Knots. Just pretend this is the end of our line and we're going to tie uh, just whichever knot you want to tie. Once you get your polymer knot tied and you cinch it down. Uh -huh. So go ahead and you run the line, run the main line through. As I like to take my line, I'm using a Dobbin Savvy micro guide uh, rod. Toronto Stratic Reel is my new one, and I'm using six pound fluorocarbon, 100% fluorocarbon line. Tie a nice, you know, big loop to it. The bigger the loop, the bigger the tag end, and that's going to control your leader length. They're going to be eating it, chewing it like Hubba Bubba, spitting it out, and you're not even going to know it. The girl that's been on my mind all the time says, says, Mama Bess. Oh, that's a better fist. <laughs> I ate my lure. Doing my best impersonation of Simon Frost right now. I see guys who spend thousands of dollars on rods, reels, electronics, and stuff. And this little bad boy right here, this little thing, see this? That is the most important piece of your equipment, your hook. I mean, without a gun hook, have you got a fish? Yeah, sorry. I'm trying to talk here. I'm trying to do a television show. I mean, anybody can catch fish, but to do a TV show, it's a lot harder. Get a good hook. Get a laser sharp hook. Something's going to stick them and keep them. And there's a drop down there. Oh, there you go. I got the dropper, Simon. I got the dropper. I got the dropper. <laughs> Oh, it's a big oh, one too. It's a sow. <laughs> oh boy. Fish on. <laughs> oh, get that bad boy in the boat. It's catching on. Everybody's kissing it. Let's let him go. Awesome.